I graph this, if I graph two lines that have the same equation, then I got one line graphed on top of the other. Bam! They're hitting each other at every single point. Okay, I was born in uh, Wingate, North Carolina, which if you aren't from there, you say Wingate. I went to school at uh, Forest Hills High School and then went to NC State here in Raleigh. Uh, I knew I wanted to come back to this area to teach in Wake County and to be close to Raleigh because it's an awesome town. And then I went to uh, Wake Forest for graduate school and then Tara hired me and I've been here ever since. Um, I always thought I would not be a teacher because my mom was a teacher and that didn't look fun all the time. Uh, my aunt was my math teacher in sixth grade. Uh, at one point my uncle was my superintendent. So I was surrounded by teachers and um, said never. Uh, but then, when I was a senior in high school, I had some really impactful teachers and coaches um, and decided that that's kind of something that I would want to maybe entertain as something to do with my life. And then once I got into school and started studying the profession, um, I never changed my mind and knew that, that I was definitely in the right place. his work mama. All right, she wins. But you know I love you, Austin. As a teacher, if, if he had begun his career 30 years ago, we would have said he was born with a piece of chalk in his hand. Um, but he may not know what chalk is. Okay, so I've Number one, I picked my variable, I saw it for it. Gabby told us about that, it was done for it. But he's just present. He's aware all the time of what he's doing. He knows what his kids need. He knows who his kids are. And the instinct that you have, or that he has, I think, like that is, I don't think you teach that. I think that's something that you have, and it's what makes great teachers. So actually, I want you to rewrite this line right here, down here what I love about teaching is seeing a kid that has struggled in math their whole life uh, gain a little bit of confidence and understand that math is not some mystery that they can't crack and that you know with a little bit of preparation and a little bit of focus and a little bit of effort that um, math is something that's accessible for all kids and then for kids that don't have struggles in math it's also really cool to see them kind of take their potential to a new level or get really excited about a certain career, you know, engineering for example, a lot of the really bright kids that I teach are excited about things we study in class because they're going to, or at least they think at this point in their life that they're going to grow up and use it in their career. I would describe Coach James as a very patient person, uh, very knowledgeable in the students, their attitudes, their behaviors, 
uh, knows how to get the best out of their players. Um, he is very, just a, a calming sense. Whenever you get around him, people like to be around him. They like to talk to him. They enjoy his company. He's just a uh, all around joy to be around. And he, br he literally brings out the best of everybody uh, every single day. Sports are fun. I played sports my whole life and, and coaching is really just an extension of the teaching profession. It just happens on the field rather than in the classroom. Um, I love baseball so uh, you know I wanted to kind of continue being involved with the sport when I'm too old and not good enough to play it anymore. Uh, and it's fun to see kids interact with each other and interact with adults in a much different way than they do in the classroom. And frankly, sports are what keep a lot of kids engaged in school. Uh, if it wasn't for high school athletics, a lot of kids wouldn't survive their four years. Um, and also, it, it teaches kids how to work together. It teaches them how to struggle together. It teaches them how to be good sportsmen and sportswomen. Um, and it teaches them that there is a standard of behavior for you to participate in something that you have to uphold. So if, if you can't take care of business in school or even at home or when you're out with your friends, then you're not going to be able to be a part of this group that you, that you cherish. So it kind of gives them an, an expectation of how to behave. You don't find better people than what Austin is. Um, and I think a lot of that is that he knows who he is and what his strengths are and he doesn't present any other picture than exactly what he is. It's no accident that I have stayed at Millbrook for seven years and have never considered going anywhere else. This is a difficult place to work uh, for a lot of reasons but at the end of the day and at the end of the week at the end of the month at the end of the year we have great kids here we have an incredibly diverse group of kids here um, and we have great staff here and those are the reasons that I stay and that you stay and that everybody stays. There's just something about the Millbrook community even when things are gloomy uh, that you just feel a connection that, that, that um, is special and you really at the end of the day it becomes worth it to stay here and this is somewhere that you want to be every day. <laughs>